Hi! Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Watson. Guess what I'm doing? I'm getting ready to plan my next adventure. Do you like to travel? I love to travel. I love to travel places near and I love to tra travel to places far. How many of you like to travel to like Lake Michigan? That's somewhere near. Or even far away places like maybe mm, Cairo, Egypt or Athens, Greece, or California. Well, guess what? Sometimes when you have to stay where you are, you can still travel. You can travel with a good book. Books allow us to go places far or near. So this summer, you're gonna go on a reading adventure just like me, and we're gonna travel together through great books. So let's go. Okay, here I am with my suitcase and my hat. I'm ready for some adventure. So, hmm, what do you think's in the suitcase? What should I pack for my adventure? Did you say clothes? Well, of course I need clothes. Sunscreen? Well, yeah, if I'm going somewhere warm. What else should I pack? Hmm, did you say books? That's right, you should be packing great books to take on your adventure. Mrs. Watson has packed some awesome books inside my suitcase. No matter where you travel, by plane, by train, by car, you should always have a great book with you ready to read. So come on, let's see what's in mine. I have been searching high and low to find some of the perfect books for my summer reading. And I have found books that have to do with traveling, of course, and adventure, like The Redwood Forest. Or, oh my goodness, this is one of my best favorite new books, The World's Strangest Places. Like, oh my goodness, have you ever heard of Pig Beach? Or Christmas Island? Or Rainbow Mountain? Or Chocolate Hills? Area 51? Sounds intriguing. We also have, oh my goodness, my librarian is a camel? What in the world? Books that are given to people around the world by unique ways to deliver books. Love it. So friends, I hope that you are searching for your perfect summer reading book. In order to do that though, you need to have a passport for this challenge. That's right, a summer reading challenge needs a passport for a summer reading adventure. And here it is. Let's look inside. So inside the passport, you are going to need to have your traveler information all filled out. There's a spot to put a picture of you with your information, a signature, and then you're gonna need, you're gonna need to earn some visas. That's right, some stamps, and this is how you do it. It says, get a stamp each time you visit the Otsego Public Library or the Book and Bus. How exciting is that? All you have to do is visit the Public Library or the Book and Bus. Now let's talk about the Literacy Bus for a minute. The Literacy Bus has a schedule this summer. It's making its rounds every Tuesday and Thursday starting June 15th. It's going to travel to Dick Street Elementary, Alamo Elementary, Lombardini Mobile Home Park, and Northside Park, the Castle Park. Now let's talk about what's inside. Every good adventure needs a map, right? And here's the map for your summer reading adventure. If you complete 20 of the reading activities, you're gonna earn a free book of choice when you come back to school in the fall. You can check them off as you go. And there are things like, oh, let me see, on this map, over on this island, it says, Read with a flashlight under the stars. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Or read with a favorite toy. That's easy to do. Or read at the library, of course. So check off 20 of those activities and earn a free book of choice. Now there's one more spot where you can get free books for summer reading. You know where that spot is? They're called the Little Libraries. Little libraries and the robots are all over town and you can find books to read there as well. So grab some interesting books and get ready to go on an adventure through the pages of a great book. Adios, see you soon.